KXK Productions, PXK Productions. Closed, 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 closed. It seems like everything in the Livingston Mall is closed, whether due to poor business or um, the weather or a lunch break, I guess. Not much appears to have survived. Not even the Victoria's Secret. Closed, closed, closed. Walking around this place felt like walking around a ghost town. To be fair to them, I was there on a weekday in the middle of the day. But still, it felt like no matter where I walked into two stories in almost a million square feet of this mall, there were five closed stores for every open one. Closed, closed, closed. But at least I could buy a piano, if I had that kind of money. Or go to the only dollar store where almost nothing costs a dollar, if I had that kind of money. Or look at some local art. Interesting. Or spend $2.50 on a soda. Jesus Christ. Closed, closed, closed. The food court felt like the liveliest place in the mall, which I mean I get, I love food, but even the pickings here are a little slim. If you want a full meal, your choices are Asian or chicken. Two very solid choices, but that said, only two. That said, the chicken was quite good. And if you just want a snack, you got ice cream, Cinnabon, and pred... Uh, um... Huh. That's weird. And I mean, there are plenty, and I mean plenty of vending machines if your snack hunger isn't that intense. Oh, there's also a little candy shop. I didn't check it out on the day, but they seemed like they had a decent selection when I went in before, considering how small the place is. Closed, closed. I also thought it was weird that both escalators in the main area of the mall were out of order, which in my case meant they were still usable, but those with a disability wouldn't be so lucky. The elevator was still in working order though. So what did I learn from all this? In all honesty, I think what I learned was that life really sucks when you're poor. Okay, let's be real. I knew that already. But seeing the lack of deals at the likes of Barnes & Noble and especially so at the collectible store, I mean, just look at those DVD prices. Just really drove the concept home. Didn't malls used to be the titans, the one-stop shop for everything you could ever want? Well, fortunately or unfortunately, we have a new place that fills that need in the digital age. Amazon. And it sucks. It really does. Shopping in a mall and getting a bag full of goodies before getting some lunch and heading home is still pretty fun when I can afford it. But in a world where money is tighter and tighter for basically everyone, leading to basically no spending money, it makes sense that people would want to go to a website and find cheaper prices. Not to mention a nearly limitless selection. It makes sense, but that doesn't make it any less sad. Sad? Why do I say sad? Well, while no official plans can be found online, it does seem like the mall is on its last legs. Maybe its days are limited, which doesn't suck because of, of a bunch of corporations are going out of business or closing locations. Nah, screw them. But it does suck because the past, the old way of doing things, is dying. And this is not to say that the past was always better. In fact, a lot of things about the past suck. But damn it, this new way sucks. I like not having a specific thing I want in mind. I like just searching through shelves of DVDs or vinyls or whatever. I like finding something I've never heard of before and giving it a shot because of an actor or because of a band I like or whatever. But it seems like this is the new way, the more convenient way. And it seems like it's where th we're staying. So if this turns out to be prophetic and the Livingston Mall does end up closing, then I guess all I have to say is goodbye.
Thanks for the memories. And thanks for all the cool stuff you allowed me to get. This has been Sapphire Merrick from PX Game Productions. And this has been a medley of random ideas video. Bye. PXK and production PXK and production PXK and production